Easy baked smoky barbecue ribs. Yes, please. And here's how I like to make them. So to get started, I will be using around a two and a half pound rack of pork ribs. Now what I'm doing next is removing the membrane or the silver skin from the back of the rack of ribs. Be sure not to skip this step. You want to make sure you remove all of it and normally it comes off in one piece, but this time I didn't have such luck. But either way you want to remove it because it's not easy to chew on it once the ribs are baked and it'll also prevent most of your seasoning and spices from getting into your meat. So after a quick rinse in cold water, I'm going to pat it dry. Now I am going to use two tablespoons of liquid smoke and I'm going to rub it into the rack of ribs. I'm going to start with the backside first. Now that I've rubbed that all over the back side, I am now going to liberally sprinkle my dry rub. And in this dry rub, I used two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon of lemon pepper, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and around a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt. I'll leave that up to you. You might want to use more if you want it a little bit more salty, but I think this is a good place to start. Once I'm done with the back side of the ribs, I am going to flip it out onto a lined sheet of aluminum foil and repeat the process. Okay, so now that I have seasoned my ribs, I am now just going to tightly enclose it in my lined aluminum foil. And by the way, I lined this with parchment paper. You don't have to do that, but I just do that by habit. And now I am going to bake it in a preheated oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for about two and a half hours. I'm going to then remove it from the foil cover it with my barbecue sauce, and then raise the oven temp to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and cook for an additional 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, it has been two and a half hours. So now what I'm going to do is basically remove the rack of ribs out of the aluminum foil, place it on the baking sheet, and I'm actually going to pour the juices in the pan as well. And then I am going to slather it in barbecue sauce. I will show you 
how I made my homemade barbecue sauce, which is a very basic one. But if you have a bottled store brand that you'd like to use, use that, that works just as well. But I like to make mine from scratch with this recipe. So here's how I did it. In a bowl, I am going to add around a quarter of a cup of ketchup. Now, as you notice, I'm really not measuring this. I normally eyeball this, but a quarter cup is a good place to start. I'm also going to add around a teaspoon of spicy brown mustard. And next, I will be adding around a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Then I am going to add around a tablespoon of honey. And if you do not have honey, add some brown sugar. That works just as well. Now I'm just going to give it a good mix. And remember that dry rub that we made earlier? I had some left over, so I'm going to add around two teaspoons of the dry rub into this barbecue sauce. And again, this barbecue sauce recipe is a very basic one. When I typically put together a barbecue sauce, I just follow the rule of ketchup as a base, something salty, something tangy, and something sweet. And again, you can use your favorite store-bought brand or your favorite barbecue sauce recipe. It works great. But ultimately, I'll be using around a third cup of this barbecue sauce. And now what I'm going to do is just brush it all over the top and glaze the rack of ribs. So while I was saucing the ribs, I was preheating my oven and now it is up to a 400 degree Fahrenheit temperature. And I am going to go ahead and pop them into the oven for an additional 10 to 15 minutes just to allow the sauce to really bake into the ribs. It has been 15 minutes and these ribs are done. They look gorgeous. I allowed them to rest for around 10 to 15 minutes and now I am just going to slice into them and serve. And as always, the recipe and ingredients will be listed in the description box below. I'll be the first to admit that I'm a sucker for a good smoked rib, but even if you like them sauced or you go for just a dry rub, I think this is an easier way to make it when you can't make it to the barbecue pit. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Hey guys click on the video icons for more recipes, or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching!